What's up, YouTube family? We are back again with another great video on this channel. And today we're going to be talking about the after. Like, what do you do with Google Planner after you set up your account and do everything? Because you can use these, this Google Keyword Planner for free, okay? Use it for free. Now, why would you use the Google Keyword Planner for your YouTube videos and whatnot? Is because when you look at these keywords, when I show you these keywords in this video, you're going to be amazed. I'll know if the keyword is being searched a lot on Google, and I'll also know the range between the CPM as well. So if I wanted to increase my revenue, with very little views or you know less views more revenue this is what i would be using as a youtube content creator in 2022 so if you guys are ready for this then go ahead and smash a like if you guys are new here and you want more tips tricks strategies on how to grow and make money online then make sure to hit the subscribe button join our family today okay you're watching the video you might as well join the family today right join the family today smash the subscribe button and also ring that bell. So after we have created our Google ads, you guys already have the Google AdSense, especially for you creators out there that are already monetized. If you're not, then I have a whole playlist to help you get monetized faster. For you guys that are already monetized, you already have seen what these Google ads and Google AdSense. So you already know pretty much everything you really need to know about it. But after you complete it and when you hit the bottom of the screen where it says create an account without a campaign now you'll be at this screen right here now if you are having trouble getting to the screen please let me know down below in the comments and i will try to make a, a smooth tutorial to kind of help you guys get to the screen to where you can start using this google keyword planner for free in 2022 pretty much in the beginning you just it's pretty simple you just go fill it out it's trying to get you to put a credit card on file but you don't have to do all that so all right so after you surpassed and bypassed all of that this is where we are about to have fun now we can go to this tab right here where it says discover new keywords okay so now we are going to see the screen right here and this is where the magic happens pretty much this is where all of the magic happens and we want to make sure that our language is english and that is by default and then we want to also target where we want to or our views or our searches to come from so right now we have united states you can delete this and go worldwide or you can go and choose where you want to target all around the world but if i were you i would simply keep it as united states because we all know united states is one of those larger country they're not third world countries so our ad revenue will be higher in places like the united states so that is exactly where we're going to stay and we're going to stay with the united states here and now we have to type in our keyword so let's type in let's say um google keyword planner okay so we have our keyword we're going to press enter here and then with that being there, we can either continue and drop in more keywords or we can just start getting our search results. So for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna, you know, talk y'all head off, but we're gonna go ahead and get straight into get our results. So as the results all pop in on our screen, we notice a few things, okay? First, let's go ahead and take this refined keywords off. We notice a few things. We have a whole lot of keywords. Now let's kind of break this down here, okay? So one, we have a whole lot of different keywords that have a whole lot of numbers on the side of them, right? Okay, so let's break this down like this. Google Keyword Planner, that is exactly the keyword that we typed in. We can look at the average monthly searches. Now this is on Google. So we all know that Google is the number one search engine in the world. Guess what is number two? You're on it right now, YouTube, okay? So you want to make sure that you rank for tags and you know different keywords 
for not only YouTube, but also for Google. Now, when it comes to Google Keyword Planner, we see in the average monthly searches is anywhere between 10,000 to 100,000 searches per month. Mm. That's that's smelling like some views for us, okay? So 100K is the top of you know how many monthly searches that this keyword phrase is going for so we see in the three month change nothing really much has changed so we can still expect this range to be pretty accurate okay now when it comes to our competition just like vidiq how i've been teaching you guys how to go for keywords that are one high in search and two low in competition this is a really good one that we're looking at right now. I'm not going to lie to you. So Google Keyword Planner, this is probably the exact reason why I scheduled this video to be done. And now you guys are watching it. So yes, we something worked if you guys are watching this video. Now we can go and look at, say we are trying to gain more revenue. So we want to aim for a keyword or a keyword phrase that is going to allow us to get more in revenue, but less in views. Say we average like a hundred views. We don't want something that's going to be too low in the CPM slash RPM. So we're going to actually use a filter here and we're going to do the top bid in the low range. So we're going to go to the minimum, okay? So if I click here, the minimum you can get for these keywords right here, this keyword at the top, add words search volume. This keyword CPM slash like RPM, you, you know that the bottom line that these advertisements or these, um, these companies are bidding for or to put ads in front of viewers that are watching videos with this as a important keyword is eleven dollars okay so i don't know if you guys really understand the rpm and the cpm and everything else like that i'll make a future video on that but let's put it this way when it comes to different channels and different niches on youtube each niche has a different CPM slash RPM range. So for a gaming channel, your CPM might be a lot lower than a channel that is strictly on business or affiliate marketing. So a gaming channel, you, you could probably get maybe like $3 per 1000 views. But as a business channel, I've seen $20 per 1,000 views. I've seen $50 per 1,000 views. You can see here, if we went onto the high range and did a filter for this, some companies are literally spending bands, okay? Thousands of dollars just to put their advertisement in front of a viewer on this type of keyword or this grouping of keywords so that is that's some money right there you see that like a thousand dollars this is the higher range for companies that are trying to get their ads seen now the difference between you know the gaming and the business channel slash financial channels is the demographic and um also the area so like i said if you're in one of those first world countries then you're probably making some good money way more money than you would from a view or a viewer from a third world country so united states go through that and then for the reason why businesses are more likely to spend more money on their ads when it comes to you know bi uh, like business or financial channels it's because that demographic of people that are actually making a little bit of money so if i wanted to get somebody to buy my car for me i'm not going to go and promote my car to your little brother who's in the other room playing fortnite i'm going to promote my car to a 20 and up individual you know a different age range that is in search for a car and that has the money to pay for my car if that makes sense i tried to try to explain it in a way that somebody that is completely new 
could understand so hopefully that helped but um yeah this is exactly how you would use this keyword planner from google and you would just map out everything that you can use these as or use all of these filters to your advantage so if we wanted to go look at competition we see all the high the highly competitive tags and keywords we're not going to aim for those we're going for the lower end so we want our competition to of course be low and we will uh we'll go for the views on that now a good way to kind of map out which keywords you should really be targeting the average monthly searches should be at least at like a k okay i would go bare minimum would be a thousand searches i wouldn't go for tags that got like anywhere between 10 to 100 searches per month that's not really a um a good way to spend your time all right so we'll go back to our keyword you see we're targeting this keyword right here of course 10,000 to 100k then we have another one right here which is just keyword planner which is 10,000 to 100,000 average monthly searches as well now these are the ones that I would kind of stop at right here that 1k to 10k mark and you can successfully go and take over these keywords for sure because they're low i would kind of ignore the medium especially if i'm a smaller channel but um you you see everything that you really need to see as a content creator trying to increase your adsense revenue on youtube so yeah hopefully this helped you know if it did then please leave a like on the video i aim to help you guys increase your revenue so if you guys can dig that and you want to join the family because i'm always dropping content like this and a whole bunch of other stuff then please make sure to hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell so you guys will never have to worry about missing out on another upload like this okay thank you guys so much for watching on this end card screen or this end screen i'm going to leave up a playlist that i think that could really help you either grow on youtube or just maximize your earnings on youtube so check it out you know, there's so much you can do online. So start making money online today. I want to I want to thank you guys. I appreciate you all and I'll catch you all in the next one.